that we've been discussing, and then I'll get into kind of my, my take on the matter. But I think one of the big topics that we've been talking about is the city of Eaton and the Preble County uh, PSAPs merging. I think one of the big takes um, from what I've been hearing is the city should continue to pay. They're the largest population in the county. Uh, they should continue to pay. Um, in talking with some people uh, at the state, um, they're surprised that uh, we've not been collecting for everyone in the community. At most communities, they collect from everyone. We've not been collecting from anyone. Um, the county's been taking care of the county. The city's been taking care of the city. Uh, I still stand by my stance uh, that if we're going to charge the city for uh, not if, the, if we're going to charge the city for 911 dispatch, uh, the whole county should have to pay. Uh, if you look at these numbers based on tax assessments and population, the pie chart, yeah, Eaton's our biggest community, but if you look at the rest of the communities, we've got some that are half the size of Eaton per population. So if we're going to charge a city, <coughs> oh, wait a second here. If we're going to charge a, a city of 8,400 uh, for dispatch services, then why would we not charge a township of 4,500? Um, we could actually have more calls to a township than a city, possibly. I mean, it's not. Now we're looking at call volume, not population. There's so many ways that this can be be looked at. You can have twice the population and have as many calls. Uh, I think it's an all or nothing. Um, I think everybody needs to pay, or we all pay at once. Um, and again, I just kind of want to break it out in a pie chart form so you can see that there. It's it's a pretty good disbursement over the county. That's what you know. These numbers are from the 2010 census um, as far as population and then the uh, uh, county computation tax year, I got that from the auditor. So I just want to give that to you for visual, uh, visual look. Um, I think if you look at it, um, nobody's getting penalized really. I mean, nobody as far as population is all pretty across the board. Um, to to kind of, uh, I'm just going to make a statement here, um, or make a, a statement, so please let me get through this and then I guess the other two commissioners can give their take but uh, I just have you know the, the cost of uh, everything continues to increase um, we've, what we've seen is the cost of with the 911 dispatch and communications is, is, is increasing as much as anything um, some of that is due to uh, equipment equipment manufacturers uh, mandates just increased cost uh, business costs across the board um, uh, based on the Kimball report which has been referred to a lot in here um, there, there was a report that was done. That data is from 2014 and 2014 alone. Uh, with what we're looking at with this levy, we're having to project out over 10 to 11 years. Uh, if anybody thinks that our costs are going to be the same in 11 years as they are today, that's crazy. Um, in fact, when we start in 2016 with our new, you know, this merger, our costs are going to be $86,000 alone just in personnel in that above the 2014 Kimball report. So we've got to look out into the future and then account for increases. Um, so I guess, you know, we've got two sets of numbers here. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got the set of numbers that's been proposed by the sheriff. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a, a budget that goes out into the future. Uh, and then we have uh, Commissioner Robertson's numbers based solely on the, the LR Kimball report with no increased costs in the future. Um, and that concerns me uh, because we have to look out for the future of Preble County. And if we think we can afford this today, we got to worry about tomorrow also. We may be able to pay for it today, but we can't pay for it tomorrow, period. Um, I've met with the sheriff many times. I've met with our auditor many times. It cannot be done. Um, again, the numbers, the numbers in this report are accurate based on 2014. But two years down the road, we're going to be paying $86,000 more <coughs> on top of that. And that doesn't even include our communication expenses and fees and capital expenditures that we're going to have coming up in the future. So, you know, I think my biggest concern is we have two sets of numbers. We're not all on the same page. That concerns me um, because the sheriff does this every day. And uh, we don't know what the future holds. The numbers today might look high, but in 10 years, we may be... We may be scraping the bottom uh, because we don't know what's going to help them happen to future costs and health care, future costs, you know, uh, uh, these fees, which we have built in. 
Um, <clears throat> I guess you know, um, based I, I just, based on the sheriff's estimate, um, you know, we would have to come up with an additional eight hundred forty-four thousand dollars. We don't have that, um, and I guess uh, you know, um, I'm in full support of the levy. I don't like it. I don't like that we have to do it, but uh, we also have to be fiscally responsible. And I, and I use that word because the other side's going to say we got to be fiscally responsible, and not do it. We got to be fiscally responsible and get a uh, process in place that's going to be here. Because it, once if we if we end up having an economic downturn, well, what do we do? Right now we're doing we're doing okay. Right now we can we could probably pay it one year and then we're in trouble. What are we going to do if we do have an economic downturn? And this this nine one one. PSAP merger is, is critical and it needs its own funding source and if nobody if if we don't have a levy we're going to have to figure out where to get it and I don't think the townships and villages can afford based on that pie chart we'll have to figure it out but I'm telling you I was a township trustee for seven years and if uh, if, if the county would have came to me and said you need to ante up on this 911 dispatch we'd been oh, well how we can't do it the villages can't do it um, so that that's uh, you know that that's where I'm at. Um, you know there are going to be possibly some savings down the road um, after we do this this merger, both for the city of Eaton and for for the county, some possible savings. Um, and we don't have a clue what that's going to be because there's going to be a lot of uh, costs possibly up front. But um, I do give my commitment to the sheriff's department that any savings that is is realized after that, uh, I think we need to put back into the, the sheriff's department. Um, I've been a strong advocate of the sheriff uh, during my campaign and have continued uh, into uh, my first uh, year here. Uh, public safety means a lot to our community, especially on the outskirts. Um, when I was out campaigning, that's one of the biggest topics I heard about was public safety. So we have a community that wants good public safety. Um, and again, I would give uh, my full commitment to the uh, sheriff's department that any realized savings that would be uh, over and above, I, I, I would uh, uh, want to do that. But I think at this time, you know, we need to give the voters a decision, a choice, um, and see see what they think is important because we know this is very, very important to the county. And uh, the only thing I, I guess I just want to end with, and, and I did, we, we talked, we've been talking about this up here for a couple weeks, and um, with the two sets of numbers, like I said, that's probably my biggest concern because we're all, we're on different pages here. Um, I talked to Denise last Wednesday. You know, we we got the numbers from the sheriff. She has her numbers, and I didn't know if you had a chance to follow up with the sheriff as far as your numbers and his numbers. Oh, I I will be using the sheriff's numbers. Have you talked to the sheriff? Have you had any discussions with the sheriff? Just for, just on public record, yes. Only on only in okay. public sessions. So I think my biggest concern is um, there's a disconnect between. Uh, <laughs> I think we really need to be working with the sheriff, and uh, and again, it just troubles me that. Uh, that's not happening. That's all I have.